Hey people, let's get right into some multiplayer MPT. These are the MPT ratings for uh, this past week, and you notice that we're really, really tight at the top here. So when we made the teams, I made the teams for Ironclad, and he picked Antiquity to be on his team. So the top two, two and three players, it's not even, yeah, very, very, very close to the top there. They're going to be on the same team against me, so let's see what I can do. Aztecs in a corner, oh my god, I don't like this. Uh, at least we got bonus grassland. Um... Aztecs, of course, are nerfed in MPT, so they're not agricultural. So it's not super important that you have uh, a river or a lake. Uh, you just need the bonus grassland. Yeah, we'll, we'll try up a play like this, just something simple. I'm also worried I might be on an island. Uh, yeah, Aztecs can be kind of tough if you can't get on top of someone. Uh, especially if you end up getting an early golden age, too. Uh, E, 1, 2, I think, likely island. Because it looks like it connects west as opposed to east, but I'm in, like, the southwest corner of the map. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll save tech, because uh, I might be on an island. I save. So, of course, as always, it's the Aztecs, you open Jaguar Warrior. That's pretty much a given. Uh, can I have Venus do... Yeah, better to have Sid do maps, I think. Um... Yeah, uh, he's the one who starts with uh, Alphabet. And, and Zardoz does ironworking, no question. Yeah, Persia is like a. If you're trying to assign. If you're like a new player trying to get an MPT and you want to know how to assign text for your team, Persia does ironworking. That's the easiest one because they have an iron, a unique unit at ironworking and they also start with bronzeworking. That's one of the great things about Persia is that you can reliably actually get to ironworking before. A lot of the other civs will um because you're always going to be the one who attacks it and you're always going to start with bronze working so for example if it's like you against the zulu you will see where your iron is before they get their iron or before they get iron working and you can like put units on top of the iron so they don't block you from the iron yeah uh because celts and Rome are the other two civs that really want iron working, but they don't start with it. And civs that do start with bronze working, like Babylon and Samaria, are usually assigned other techs. Or just assigned to save. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm saving, because having a lot of gold is very important in MPT, so you can pay for upgrades. It's the fastest way to build a bunch of units. Could squeeze this out, but if we're all alone, then I think our growth is important. Uh, we actually don't. Let's do pottery slowly. Let's go right for a fucking granary. Yeah, I don't fucking know, but I'm gonna do pot. Uh, so we got D. So B four, E one, and yeah, they have no rushers. They got no two moving units. They've got Samaria. That's it, though. Yeah. B8. K. Again, I don't I can't guarantee that I'll get contact with any of these players because I'm not sure where this commit connects or if it connects at all. Uh so it's good we got the Jaguars, so we'll we'll know sooner rather than later. E1. We got the mini canal here, so we can go for some boating plays later on. Uh, a few hills, so maybe we have some iron if we're lucky. I don't know. Trying to make the best of this. <laughs> okay. Um, I... I mean, 
One of the benefits to the Aztecs is just the fact that they exist on the map means you have to play very conservatively if you're on the other team. So they can't leave their workers exposed. They can't leave their cities exposed. They can't go for the early granary they want because I could just pop out of nowhere and kill them, basically. Uh, of course, I won't because I'm not somewhere where I can do that from. But, I, but they don't know that. So hopefully we can... Uh, use that uh, difference in information. Okay, it looks like it actually might come around and connect to the east. Early kills are always great, but uh, sadly, I don't think that's on the menu for today. Zedlock. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before I get contact if I'm um, if it connects east instead of west. Someone near, I can smell them in the dark. Mm, yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah, it's going to be a late con then. Uh, late contact then. Uh, so... We'll do double jag. But I'll try to avoid a golden age, yeah. We'll say that. Okay, moving end of turn, of course. You want him to do your moves end of turn. Like, just in case there's, like, a, a Hittite scout right here, you can catch him off guard if you do your move end of turn and kill him. Whereas if you did that start of turn, he would have seen me when he moved onto that tile, and he'd know to move away. Great. So we're going to do Jag into to Settler here. I'm not liking the lack of bonus grassland. Hmm. What are we thinking here for Second City? It looks like it connects. Okay, so end of turn, we go... Oh! Yeah. Maybe it doesn't connect quite as easily as I thought. Okay. Nope, no fish. Not seeing any whales out there either. Yeah, there's no obvious guide to our where to put our cities with no bonus grassland to look for. I think I'll do kind of far apart in that case, because, I mean, absolutely no reason to play defensively here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do here and push north, but unless there's a river, the plains land is actually really bad, because uh, I can't irrigate it. Okay, and oh, get first. Uh, hmm. Is that silk? I think that's silk. Okay, that indicates I'm not an island because there's two lux here, and it's not the same type. Horse and cat. Okay, that's good. Again, always doing these moves into turn. Uh, I guess the we can aim for these furs then. Oh. Uh, so when you're playing as the Aztecs... Oh, crap. I messed that up. Uh, so you actually want to avoid walking on uh, the hills. Because if, if you walk on the hills, let's say there's a unit here, he can see me. It gives you extra vision, which is great, but it also gives the enemy ver extra vision of you. And in the early game, it's more important that they don't see you than that you see them. At least their units. Their, their city boundaries, of course, it's good to see, but you'll see their city eventually. Whereas if you can sneak by, then you're in a, a really good position. If they think like they have vision to the west, but you just barely sneak by... So I'm switching to Temple just so I have a chance of popping uh, Settler. I don't get it, but... Okay.
It's a weird. Okay, I get some extra vision here. I think I will with the warrior go on the, the mountain. Now the question is, yeah, I'll go with the warrior on the mountain because I don't think anyone's going to be in the, oh, here we are. Okay, here's ironclad. Okay. Nice. Okay, that's easy priority onto Ironclad. Uh, so the way that this matchup works against the Hadites is that... Oh, I'll send this actually north. Yeah, I might lose the mountain in this case, but I, I I need contact with Typo. Yeah, the way this works, I, I can't kill him unless he leaves the city open, but uh, I can harass him and keep him small. So that's what we're going to do. And yeah, maybe we'll kill him. Who knows? Okay, double worker. No. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, I canceled some of his worker moves. I should have just gone for the far fucking worker. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. And I can't attack into that again. Hmm. Let's... Let's do the full scout here. He might not know I've got another one coming up from behind, so. And he doesn't want a golden age either. You want that golden age, man? <laughs> up to you. You can take it if you want. Okay, yeah. I see in GA. That was great. That's fantastic. I got the pillage and I fucking golden aged him, so. I think I know how to play this. I'll block this off. Because he's going to come for me, for me now. Um, I've already disabled him. Like, I've made him as useless as I am. So I've done my job. So go here, end of turn. In fact, I should actually avoid taking a golden age. Yeah, let's get some... If we get two warriors right here, we can actually cut them off. Uh, I will need... Uh, math. Yeah, I wish I went for a warrior here, but I think I can actually... Ah, it's playing with fire to try to... Take his worker again, because he—I know he wants to give me a golden age, and I, there's no point. In, he already has his golden age, so I don't actually benefit from doing the same to him. So, yeah, nothing there. Great. Uh, so we're gonna grab some veteran warriors here, just to uh, do a pair. And, and this warrior is off in search of. Typo. Sorry, Typo is another name. For, it was his old name. It's Sid's old name. Uh, Sid, my warrior. Oops, my warrior is uh, C3. Smiley face. I'm, I'm very pleased with how this game's going so far, given the land. Yeah, anytime as the Aztecs you can make the, the best player on the enemy team useless, you're doing great. So. 
Okay, I'm actually not going to go on the mountain. Normally, you want to go on the mountain to, to get vision, but I'm going to avoid doing that in case he's ready to give me a golden age. Ah, fuck, that actually slowed me down. Unless there's, like, something useful to the south. Yeah, I'll just disappear off here. Oh, huh. Okay, uh, interesting. I'll take this. Yeah, if I can pop barbs, that's actually uh, a good thing because I'd be popping them on uh, ironclad. Uh, he he has the option of like committing units down here to try to force me into a golden age, but then he can't be attacking me at home. So. I'm not too scared of that happening. Nice. Okay. He's also behind me in terms of number of cities. And I have horses. Okay. So if I get a golden age, it's actually not the end of the world. Because I can use it to stack chariots. Uh, but I'll play cool. Oops, I didn't move. Fuck. Uh, he doesn't actually know it's down here, so he doesn't know that I'm I'm waiting like this. Ah, fucking Karama and his leg. People have been mentioning that. Oh, yeah, he did go straight for me. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, crap. I messed this up. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll d deliberately slow down my growth. Okay, I'll do this move end of turn. He's probably going to go here. That's okay. Uh he actually can't force me into a golden age. He can attack me. Uh, and there's a good chance I run away, regardless of what happens. Because, and he has, his units have more HP than me. Uh, hello? Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's what we want. Okay, so he got the kill. Uh, killed Ic's worker. Yeah, so this golden edge for him is going to be extra shitty. <laughs> okay, so now we go here. Great. So he can attack into me if he wants. Ah, because I planted three tiles north, like because it was specifically north, um, if it was like three tiles northwest, it would have, I think my second shield would be uncorrupted, but it's not. Why do we play with this guy? I've never played with him in my life. And this is pretty unmanageable. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I actually got myself this tile right here. It's a good one to have. Does our team even have masonry? Oh yeah, Persia has masonry. 
Okay, well, I'll kill the scout. And I guess we're mining those. Okay, but I think... The th oh, yeah, oh, because I have the road established, uh, the third tile is... Third shield is now incorrupted. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to want double warriors on all these tiles just so he doesn't get by. This is really handy because uh, it, it keeps him honest at home. He can't get away with having no units. Nice, we can do two and three by f switching back and forth. That's good. Um, do I actually want the other worker? Yeah, I want to start stacking chariots sooner rather than later. Eh, we'll see. Oh, I can do this. So it gives me the warrior next turn. So even though this is equal shields, this means it will auto assign to the um, the mind bonus grassland. Whereas if I was working the mind bonus, if I was working the mind bonus grassland, it would just uh, assigned to this tile, giving me only four shields. Yep, yeah, so uh, we'll switch back and forth. We do need these warriors to hold the line here. Uh, oh, we got this one coming. Yeah, we just straight up have one per turn warriors. I think we actually do need the worker. Uh, if not in the immediate future, then eventually. Oh yeah, he's committing a lot of units down here. Um, but there's so many different ways I can hold the line if I need to hold the line. Like if he takes, the, if he kills this, I just move one of these guys here. It says uh, fortify all. Yeah. Uh, I'm not having happiness issues either. I am running low on unit support, though. Oh god, uh, just, that's mostly because of the happiness slider, actually. Yeah, just not a lot of commerce here. Uh, I see sending a lot to me, but I have choke. So he might try something end of turn, so we should watch out. Nothing. We're good. Uh, Zed, you got Alpha? Should we get the road sooner rather than later? Uh, we still have the Granary. From TV, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, do math, please. Uh, I think there's actually, yeah, I've got a good idea for a cycle here. So it looks like if we want the settler in three, we'll have to not grow this turn. Like we'd have to work the forest twice, but there's a way around that. So we get four, five, and then six because this will finish.
Can't get a boat, no. At some point in the future, they might be able to get boats, but not here. <laughs> Maybe it's just banking on the fact that I've already, uh, yeah. So ideally, I'd like to like suck up more of his attention, but I think I've already pretty much done that just by giving him a golden age. Like I've done what I need to do. I should focus on my own growth and not like worry about being a huge pain in his ass, basically. Great. We'll keep three here because then we can flex them back and forth. And this is a hill, so it doesn't need to be as uh, well guarded. In one, but tech off? Huh. What is that? Uh, maps in one? He better not be talking about HBR. Because there's a common strat where you wait till a turn away from doing HBR, so you, and then you turn off your tech so you can keep building chariots. Oh, I, I fucked this up. Oh, no, I didn't, actually. That's fine. That's more than fun. It's actually 16 shields. Great. Uh, now we have one per turn... Uh, warriors as soon as we have two pops, so starting next turn. Or we could do one per two turn archers. That's good too. Hmm. At three pop, we have one per turn jags, which is not bad. Oh, I just realized it might be a little difficult to get a golden mage uh, if, he, if he's not paying attention to that. But if we bring in the catapults, we should be able to. I'm not going to cry, because I, I took his warrior, his worker, which totally makes everything worth it. But if I had, like, a jag right here, then just the threat of me coming in would keep him a lot more honest, honest at home. It looks like he didn't spend too much this way. Oh, my fucking God. I just disordered... <sighs> With a warrior there, too. That's a shame. Yeah, it's okay, though. Uh, is it... You doing maps or no? Uh, yeah, I can't, pretty much can't formulate a game plan until we know. Oh my god. Um, Iroquois. Okay, those are some texts at least. Oh, we probably have iron working. He... I think he didn't get the memo. Multiplayer fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? If I, if I just put this here. Me, no river, you, maps, maybe. Ha! Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's no reason not to use that. Yeah, we'll get some archer for de archers for defense. And I guess economy is going to be important here, since we'll be doing an upgrade strat. Um, oh, I need iron working. We, we got IW? He passed me a lot of techs. I, I can't imagine the Iroquois got all that on their own. One of those maybe, but, but not all. OK, 
Okay, no iron here. This is really tragic because having maps would be insanely useful right now. Um, I could just boat the other con, like put some jags there and like apply some pressure, but can't do that. I guess we're going to push north. Having a road here is just generally a nice thing to have. Um, or do I want it here? He's on two cities. He, what the fuck is he doing? Okay, I guess I should be stacking archers then. Um, because I think here we'll, we'll check the military advisor. Weak to Samaria, yeah. Uh, so I'll do warrior right now, and you'll see why next turn. B8, or, or is that a bait? Literally all of bait. <laughs> okay, so uh, the one thing I'll do is... Oh my God, I probably should have rode to this first. Again, I, I haven't scouted... Is anyone on the eastern coast on their team? Basically, should I be scared of them boating me? Yeah, so the thing we can do now, the, the super secret play, is we do this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you have two surplus food, it will always uh, prefer high assigning the new citizen to a, a high food tile over a high production tile even if you have emphasized production turned on but by doing it like this we are already working the forest and then this is equal food to everything else so uh seven gives us exactly a, a jaguar warrior so that's just like a, uh, a healthy thing to have on hand can fill in the gaps of our defenses we can send it over eventually um yeah maybe scout over here Is he trying to bait me? Crap, he can get boats now. I really need catapults then. Is this? No. Nope. God, Platfleco fucked things up. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. And, and this? No, it doesn't even fucking work. Okay. Yeah, the growth is more important there. Okay. And we can also do chariots. Uh, so chariots have upgrade potential. Uh, this is bait to get me down because he wants to. Uh, maybe I should just go for it. Uh, no, I'll just bait him. But the thing is, if he's not, if he's playing like this, where he's not guarding his stuff, then there's not really much point for to me having that warrior there if it's not actually making him play less greedy. Uh, when math. He said. 
That's me talking to Zardoz. Could have sworn I asked him to do math. You doing math? Oh my god. Do it, please. I have some if need needed. Okay, I'll wait a turn here. It's gonna take six turns, right? So in fact, unless his golden is his golden age already over? Okay. If his golden age is always already over, I think his golden age is gonna be over by the time that that's done. Oh, he got rid of me. Huh. Maybe I should have tried it while I can. Uh, that's okay, though. So here's my Kura. Nobody answered my question, is there anyone west of me? So I guess I'm going to find out for myself. Uh, and here we start Catapult. Uh, do Settler here. Our golden, our our land is. Yeah, he got he's got the deer. Yeah, no, his land's better than ours. He also has like a, a small river, for what it's worth, uh, and the immediate lux. Uh, go boat here for iron if I really need to. Okay. Hmm. No, that's bad. Uh, Sauce. Oh, Saucius and is the Celts. Jeez. Oh, God. Well, we're praying for you, Typo. I didn't. Me and Ironclad are both equally useless here. Especially, yeah, without maps, I'm, I'm useless. Ironclad's stacking up an archer push, I think. Uh, and without, oh, without catapults, I, I can't push back into this. Okay. Yeah, of course. Uh, Anti landed me. Thanks for no maps, guys. Uh, I shouldn't, shouldn't be salty. <laughs> Fucking hell, though. So not only did they not give me maps, they didn't answer my question about where people are on the fucking map. Uh, I need And I need those fucking catapults. I, I can't do shit without catapults. I need gold and catapults. Can't do shit without katas. This is not going to disorder. I actually can attack into him here. Okay, uh, take my golden age then. Yep. Uh, can keep him on flat land. That's good. And then this goes here. Okay. That's actually not that bad because when when math. Okay, it looks like I no pre build on this. Uh, I got some fucking gold now, too. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's done in three. Okay, I can try this, I think. Yeah. I need this fucking dead. Um, it doesn't do me much good. We'll see though. Did I actually heal to full health? That was unexpected. Nice. Okay, that was actually a good trade for me. <laughs> uh, fix my rally points. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I lost a road, but nothing much else. Uh, I could just plant here if I want to. Um, I really need workers. Uh, pass math, please. Eight gold. But I'm so broke. <laughs> Do this, yeah. No, the fuck do you? <laughs> okay, I, I got this extra mine done for what it's worth. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm producing really quickly because of my golden age. Okay. I'll give him my 11 gold. Oh god, that was actually so good for my finances. Uh, planting that extra city. So that paid off. And catapults. Catapults. Cities without a barracks do catapults. Um... Dukura. You know what? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was just about to say, the biggest danger right now is I get landed by Ironclad. Ha. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, get wrecked. <laughs> I don't know if he got fucked over by the lag or what, but... <laughs> Uh, that was a good development for me. Okay, we'll do another warrior. Archer. And we'll get this road. The road's pretty important. Uh, when HP, when, oh, wait, hold the fuck up. I can make them pretty useless if I just spam Koras right now. So let's just do that. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, we got him. Okay, that was full too. That was loaded. <laughs> Don't pass maps. Oh, and I can use the catapults too? Sweet.
Uh, okay, I got. He's got. He passed me a contact, so I can call him up when I need to. Um. <laughs> no horses here because it's not even connected. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Egypt. Uh, yeah, I want. I want maps. No map making. <laughs> okay, uh, we got this coming next turn, that's good. I'm liking this five shield per turn breakpoint. Um, I don't even think we really need to grow. Until we have more, more worker moves, it's not important. So uh, we'll just get some extra food into Tenochtitlan. Okay, how are you doing here? Uh, nice, we got an archer per two then, or a chariot per two, I guess. Oh, okay, they've got some strength towards the middle of the map. Looks like he's trying for a kill on fucking Kurama, which is not going to do much good. But, I mean, it'll put us ahead and score, at least. Uh, but if Zardoz dies right after that, then <laughs> we're still in trouble. Uh, so, it looks like he sent a boat to me. Okay, what are you doing with that, man? Are you, like, reinforcing your position up there or something? Uh, not much I can do to... <laughs> I was more thinking on along the lines of harassment. <laughs> but I, I guess I can build. He's, he's, he's just going to fortify there, huh? Okay. So we'll try to hit him with a double. Ah, and he only has one move left. Bam. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm glad I'm making. Classic strategy. Um, I could plant if you really if you really want iron. I could plant across. It'd probably actually make more sense for, yeah, uh, twisted. Maybe you hook iron. And pass by harbor to Zed. Oh, this is open. Okay, I'll grab my settler. Grab another settler here. Yeah, I, I know, right? I got some good ideas from time to time. Shot call. Yeah, that's one thing I can do if I see, can see the whole map. I can fucking shot call. Uh, how ya doing, Sid? So it looks like Sid, if he attacked there, he didn't succeed. They're on one city. That's probably not worth their time. Or maybe he went somewhere else. I don't know. They probably don't have vision of my whole peninsula here. Uh, that's a good sign. Okay, so Antiquity might boat from the other side now. I, I don't think Ironclad's going <laughs> to... After what I just put him through, I don't think he's going to boat me again. Uh, I could also do Settler, or 
just temple right now. Temple gives you a lot of score. Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. Our, I think we actually need the chariots. Uh, and we can get the temple after our golden age is over. It's not like super top priority or anything. Okay, this is going to be done in two anyway. Let's get another barracks. Nice. Okay, there's the score lead. Awesome job. Yeah, Sid is really good at picking on the new players. <laughs> and the lag should go away, T.Y. Sid. <laughs> that's in four. Uh, that's in two. Okay. I'd like the road here. I'd like the road here. Okay, I might as well get go get vision here. Okay, that's in one. Uh, that's a good road to have, though. It links Texcoco and Tlatloco from the other side. Yeah, I don't want to give that up. Okay, dude, really? Boring. Fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, if he landed me, that's actually not the end of the world. Um, let's actually take these back. I know these are loaded, right? Come on. Yes. Okay, there we go. So that was probably like a, a loaded... Oh. Uh, fuck. This is out of vision, actually. I can't do this safely. Um, I don't have vision here. Unless I'm, like, strong to Samaria or something. I'm average. You know what? Yeah. We'll go for the worker, and then we'll do it. And I can reinforce all these guys in if I need to. Yeah, it seems pretty safe. Yeah, you want to land me? Fucking go ahead. Are they really just going to let me get a Kura? Yeah. Could have it in three if I walk this. That seems like the sensible play. Okay, the unhappiness here is expired. Um, he's out of range of my catapult. I can put this here, though. Oh, this is catapults. I don't know how this catapult got here. Ah, come on. <laughs> See, everyone else, oh, we got a lot of units that can move in end of turn if needed. Let's switch some of these guys up. Well, aren't you glad you can build catapults?
Okay, uh, so I just do a, a stack move if he shows anything, but it doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. So if I do a point of damage here, I'm 100% going to attack into this. Huh? Oh, come on. Really? Fuck you. Okay, well, not much we could do there. Uh, I'm a little worried now because we got... We have to clean this up, right? So, and we have problems on two fronts. It's not even veteran. What the fuck is that? Okay. One per turn archers? That's good. I mean, I'm keeping two of them busy. Yeah, we got some stuff in there. Please tell me I, I started to construct. Okay, that's good. Okay, that means I guess the other one was probably full that I sunk. Have you tried killing someone? That's normally a good idea. I don't know, it might just be my bias talking, but... Is he not stacking... I assume he's ch stacking fucking chariots. I don't know why he didn't get involved. He had horse and cap, he said. Uh, why not get involved sooner? Hmm. Oh, oh, no defensive, no defensive bombard there. Okay, sweet, and clean him up. Uh, I thought there would be. Uh, this is like an opening to go for. I, I don't have... Uh, I don't have... Was it called yet, of course, but... Uh, I have five chariots. But against the Sumerians, that's not going to do much. I either have to go for a boating play or no play at all. I think that's pretty clear. Uh, so let's do this so we can... Yeah. Start catapulting him down here. I could maybe boat Celts. Yeah, it's not like he's... The war chariots can't go through jungle, so it's not like he's going to be coming in from the east. 
Uh, so I think that should be my goal, both, both the counts. Nice. Uh, we'll get a little inflection and in infusion of gold next turn from this. That's uh, growing. Oh, okay. So he planted here. Uh, so I'm kind of I'm boxed in now completely. Yeah. So that's the downside to not getting the math early. That I. I am now out of expansion opportunities. I could put one here for unit support, I guess. Although, obviously, being on the front, it would be a little precarious. Uh, how much gold we got? Pass maps. I'm not going to build any Kurags. Uh, okay. How's the score situation? I think we're at, with Persia's score, we're barely ahead. Okay. Uh, so I can get a couple. I can get a couple galleys in three. Four and drop. If you're kind of scrambling to figure out how that makes sense, uh, <laughs> don't worry. You'll, you'll, you'll see. Uh, I guess I could have done them in my capital, but I, I'm going to get horseback riding too soon, so I want the one per turn chariots. Oh, I, I, yeah, I can just do galley here. Yeah, that's fine. Now let me grow a bit. Is that a hill? Oh my god, it's a hill city too. Yeah, <laughs> this is a hill city. But at least you can kind of like carve down and go here. I'm I'm never gonna carve around. That's uh, yeah. Uh, so you see, like this was the original two tiles I wanted. Uh, so if I put the city on these two tiles instead of on here, if it was safe to do so, then I would have been able to. He wouldn't have been able to plant on the hill, or maybe he would. Who knows? Okay, what's this? Archer. Eh, it should probably be chariot. Or we could play for score. That's always an option. It better be a lot of fucking chariots. Let's see. Weak. Okay. That was a good sign. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you scared me there, man. Uh, and two. Hmm. This one's the closest to. I guess it's okay if it's a little land. Uh, he can wait up then. That's that's fine. I guess I should have started this galley a turn earlier. It's gonna miss the. Uh, miss the boat. Oh, it's actually finished, huh? Uh, so the idea is we're gonna join workers here and then slave the galley. Uh, here, slave the galley. I think we can actually just disband something here and, and save ourselves the slave. Because the way you think of it is like, if I was going to slave, would I just slave a fucking spearman if I had the option? No, I wouldn't do that. Because, like, a regular spearman? No. Uh, so if I can trade the spearman for a slave, that's a good, good trade. Uh, 
Um, hmm, well, I'll do Settler here. And I guess we can do... This is the city where we really want the temple, but we need to galley there. Yeah, uh, our Golden Age is going to expire soon, so we need to be cognizant of that. God, maybe I'm gonna, maybe I'm not gonna be more useless than Ironclad. <laughs> I could start boating him though. Yeah, I could plant here. In an emergency, I could plant here. <laughs> Oh, this would be a good as a good city to slave uh, temple in. Ah, he gets those furs. Oh, at least I get the the silks. So if I'm yeah, I'm not using the happiness slider, but it gives me more happiness at least. Oh fuck! Uh, HPR, please. I fucked that one up. Oh, it's it's okay actually. And gold. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I know he's, he's trying to type in the box. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he's got the spirit of it. Uh, and see. What the fuck, dude? Passing gold or something? How much gold can you have? You're on three cities. I guess you have your golden age. Contact with the Celts. Okay. And then all the Celts are playing for score. Okay. Um, like good sign, I guess. Well, this is... Yeah, he just fucking passed... Yeah. I said NC. God. <laughs> okay. Um... Whatever. Now we stack archers, is it? And we'll grab the temple here as a compromise. Oops. So we can actually land one end of turn. And we're not trying to hide this. Oh, he's actually bodyguarding. Fuck me. Uh, maybe he's not paying attention, though. This is on the other side of the world for him, so... Ah, uh, okay. Let's turn this off just so it doesn't screw us over. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah. So, because I loaded in, then... If you load physically in the city, like if you use the load command, then you can unload the same turn. If you don't use the load command, then uh, you have to wait till end of turn. Or sorry, it, it consumes the movement points of your unit and you have to wait. Uh, so that's why I, uh, I'm not loading these. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm not loading this one up because it came from this direction. So even if I, I, I can move here, but... Hmm. Yeah, with Celts playing for score, there's there's just no way we win if we don't kill. Because he's in the middle of the map, he has all the space to grow, he's got some easy defense cities down here if he gets vision. And, and Galax make it very easy to get vision.
Oh, this is actually activatable. Uh, no reason not to put this stuff up here. I, I guess you could boat me from this angle. Yeah, we'll go scout for that. Oh, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Ah. Okay. Did I load that up? No, I didn't. Going around to his back. Okay. You hit the, the stack of Galax. That's the thing. Like, what the fuck can you do is it with with war turrets against Galax at long range? <laughs> Uh, you can't even go on mountains, like, at least if you're doing mounted wars, you can, like, take the mountains first, I don't know, um, but th that's not an option. Okay, I can get vision, I guess. Maybe there's some intel about something saucy. One, uh, Reg Bowman. But good luck, hold yeah, you're never going to hold that city if you take it. Um, nice. Yeah, if if I let him within he if he has Galax in the city, he can very easily kill my horseman. So I have to be proceed with caution. I guess I could check. Oh no, if I even check, then if I fuck up, I I lose the horseman pretty much. If he, if he even has one Galax in the city, yeah, he he has one Galax in the city. So, um, maybe that's worth doing. Yeah, there goes his ivory. If it's hooked, it might not even be hooked. Not, not even taking fucking damage. Okay, yeah, I, I wasn't... It, it at least prevents him from take. It blocks his reinforcements to the western city. I cut roads to Antioch. Weak. Can't get it though. Jungle. Okay, well, let's keep scouting him. Good thing about killing the boats is um, he, he can't take them home and send more. Uh, so this tile allows him to fork me, so we'll guard that. Oh, uh, I'll unload. Maybe he'll miss this. If I can just, like, sneak some horsemen... into the distance, then it's pretty good. You know what? Why don't I kill this? Nice. Okay. I've had a good RNG with my fucking galleys today. So, uh, that should be fine. Yep. Okay, 
Don't know what that's going to do, but I don't know. Maybe something. Uh, Ironclad's barely. Yeah, he's got two coastal cities. Uh, I, I think. Yeah, I can see. I have vision if he sends out any naval units. So I can say with confidence that he doesn't have any naval units unless they pass me by. But it's not going to be many. Um. Oh my god. Uh, I think to, to not go broke, I have to build another settler. <laughs> nice. Okay, we'll see if I can make any noise over here. If he has, like... No, he's not even looking for me. He doesn't have any vision here. Interesting. God, I wish he was streaming, then we could watch his perspective and see what's going on, but we'll just have to have faith. Uh, <laughs> okay, what's the score situation? Uh, let's see, we're up 10, we're up 13, he's up 35. Uh, so a difference of 22. He's playing for score. He's Babylon, so it's not going to be, it's going to be hard exactly for him to... Uh, and Persia's up 26. Okay, I think we're like technically in the lead for score, but because both of these scores will decay, the, the, the difference will grow smaller. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, that's pretty much over then. Um, unless I can sneak these guys in. Uh, I can try sneak attack on... Plus one tile. I think that's actually not worth it, but I'll do it anyway. Ah, the reason my workers aren't activating is because I, I don't I have that turned on. So I couldn't leave. Uh, that's that's rough. Yeah, I, I'm not the kind of person who will just like hang around. in hopes of scoring. I think this is actually, weirdly enough, I think this iron tile is the, yeah, because the one place he's most likely to vision is there. So from here, we can double the Krakovia. Yeah, but I'm not going to hang around for like how many turns are left. 29 turns just to see if I can score like a fucking cheap kill. That's that's a BS way to play. Ah, that's why you turn off auto select maybe, but Damn, I wish he, he should have sent his units earlier to to Sausen. At least like get priority so he can he can't commit everything on here him. Okay, I guess this goes here. We're not as They're not gonna scan anything we control we have good naval control here. Yeah, like we have yeah, we have naval control all over, except maybe this bay, I guess. Oh, we actually have a Kura here. Oh, it's, it's the one we sailed through.
He has walls, but often the walls are just a bluff. Like, it just means, I don't think I can afford to defend this city. So I'll just put these walls here so you, you think I'm actually defending it. And then the city can be completely empty or whatever. Yeah, I think one of the advantages to the, the Gallic Swordsman is it's, or um, the Celts is that it's impossible to go after them with anything mobile. Uh, they'll just... Uh, sorry, I guess if you have priority over... Like, if the Iroquois like, got, like, spearmen or, like, warriors on these hills, it's hard for the Celts to contest. Oh, I'm broke. Um, oh, but I got the settler. <laughs> That's what that settler was for. You see that timing? Perfect timing, huh? Can't get any better than that. I'm still broke. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I'll disband some stuff because if I if I get the pop up, I don't want to get the pop up end of turn. Uh, I got the border expand here. That gives me one happiness. Okay, this is good to disband. And and this is fine. Yep. Uh, okay, so. Negative three and negative three. Oh, got to move these guys. Okay. Fast moves. That's important. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he did have vision on the, the mountain, like I said. There it is. Okay. He might reinforce, but... Wait. <laughs> Oh man, I've, okay, the past fucking 10 minutes has just been me shot calling after shot call, perfect call after perfect fucking call there. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go use my my stack on Ironclad because I'm gonna die otherwise, anyway, but um, I think, yeah, I use the high score and it's gonna take them a few turns to clean this up. It's not like I'm super weak or anything here. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I kind of wish I had these tiles roaded now. Um, so I guess I push in with this end of turn. Oh, or just now. <laughs> Lamount. Uh, if I'm lucky, he only has Bowman. Yeah, I think they might have been trying to play for score. Uh, but in the long run, I don't know. Okay, I guess I can... Let's do that now, I guess. Play for some. I know, right? Okay, I can cut these roads. It looks like the main road died. So let's see what he's got. Okay. He probably he might not even know what he attacked me with. Uh, it also saved my economy taking that city too. Okay, I'll check if they're going to land me. That's always a possibility. Um, I think I join workers now. Yeah, just uh, I'm not going to last too long here. Might as well play for score. So we got the one jag coming in. Oh, and, and I guess these guys down here. But yeah, if they they come for me, it's probably... I guess you could just go here. Yeah. Oh, I, I should pillage this then? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it makes sense. Then he can recap the city if they take it off me. Okay. 
I'm wondering if showing my stack here is a mistake, though. Oh, we'll see. At least we're going to know what he has. Oh, just one Bowman? That's it? Okay. Yeah. I can maybe even kill him with this stuff. Nice. Okay, that was actually a good road to pillage. Um, lol. <laughs> Yeah, it's only one. Uh, I could try to kill it. Because, yeah, having this road pillaged means that he, even if I die, and, and it, it's slower for him to reinforce the city. Uh, I, I can wait. I, I... Shit. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Let's see what we can do there. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reinforcements coming. <laughs> Oh my god, this is such a hard carry game. <laughs> okay, no one's gonna boat me. If they do, like, respect for pulling that off. Okay, he's got one galley there. Oh, fuck. Just disappear into the wilderness. I probably should have gone back towards the city, but. Uh, huh. Okay, I think I can actually spend. Okay, I'll just check here. Yeah, if Babylon dies right now, then the game's over for them. Okay, this road will be done. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this end of turn. I, I just need enough to defend against this lone bowman if something goes wrong. Because I need to buy enough time to attack. I think I can land here without... Because uh... if I, I do move three tiles, the galley's out of move, and I have to manually unload. But if I just do... Num and I can't do numpad moves. If I do numpad moves, so it would be eight, seven, six, eight, seven, four. It's It's a lot faster. Oh, I might as well make him sweat a bit. Oh, nice snow. Sweet. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Took his workers. <laughs> Okay, I don't want walls there because he gets the walls if he takes the city. Uh, but I'll do warrior. He's got to be guarding on this front, right? Um, I'll show end of turn and then try to catch him off guard. So the thing about auto bombard is, yeah cancel for enemy combat units. So what's happening is the game will detect that the Sumerians have a unit next to me and it'll be like, oh, better turn off the auto bombard when really that was the unit I wanted to bombard. <laughs> They have to kill me, otherwise the game's over. 
So I don't think I should like play with the attitude of save my units in case the game goes late. Uh, if they kill me here or they kill me here, it makes no difference. Okay, I'll fortify this one just so I don't fuck things up. Uh, I could wait another turn, I guess, but no, no. He has horses. If you slaved a bunch of horsemen, I guess you could get there soon. I land bad EOT. <laughs> if I get them both in one game, <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, when I, right before in the turn, I show this. Or do I have any other unit? Yeah. You, you should fortify everything. Uh, I'll do that, I guess. Oh, that's being a nuisance. No. I really hope that resolves soon. Okay. I wasn't able to use the distraction, but... Yep. <laughs> I'm so glad I... I better be recording this one. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, I I I'm clouds. <laughs> I realize he's probably just correcting himself, but it sounded like he was like good shit, dude. Dude. <laughs> just the extra emphasis. Okay, uh temple for score. Keep these workers, we can join them to be a pain in the ass. Does Ironclad think he... Oh, wow, Ironclad's actually pretty big. He'd have to kill all of us, pretty much, within, what, 20 turns? And now I'm just going to start boating him to... I mean, since it worked out, so okay, there, <laughs> not even a GG. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that was fantastic, guys. Um, I could check. Yeah, let's check the saves. The turn, the turn that Saucy died. Saucy's gonna. Get, yeah, I'll link Saucy's channel on. On, uh, he has a, a YouTube channel actually, where he posts posts his games. Uh, and he does do some commentary. Uh, he might be able to do some commentary in Russian if anybody's interested. Uh, but yeah, I'll try. This is probably a bit too far back. But yeah, he's a pretty skilled player, and he's on the up and up. He's climbing quickly in rank. You see him, like, single-handedly annihilate Zardoz. Uh, so he's got some galaxy. Oh, yeah. He did distraction. I guess he just attacked those units to, like, pull his attention away. Uh, but Saucy has total priority. I thought maybe he had some guys over there, but I guess if they were, they they died pretty easily to Galax. Cause there's nowhere to hide. Like, you can't go in the mountains. So, uh, And your mobility is blocked because you can't go through the jungle. Yeah, he should have just been playing for score. He should have either killed earlier or played for score. Um, but what he did do, he was quite good at, so... Oh, yeah, Saucy just didn't have that much. I wonder what it was like when they attacked. Because I'm not seeing any massive... Yeah, it looks like he lost his massive galaxy. Yeah, he just couldn't cover all his sides. But then like, I guess he could be boated here. But like, what's the point of guarding this city but not this city? I guess he thinks he has vision. So yeah, this was the perfect play. Moving on the Iron Mountain instead of on the, the forest. So normally when you're trying to avoid enemy detection, your instinct is to avoid mountains and stay to the lowland, but I knew if there's like one tile he's most likely to have a sentry on, it's going to be this one. I guess there was a risk that he was like rebuilding this road or something, but yeah, he, he seemed like he was massive. Uh, like I thought he had like a billion workers, a billion units, and that he'd have like maybe four units, like three galaxies here at least, uh, but no, he wasn't that strong, and, and playing for score hamstrung him a bit. I guess he couldn't, he didn't scout here, so he didn't know that, I guess he was overguarding the city because he was scared of being boated on both sides and then scared he might not have known that this is full jungle blocking him off. 
Uh, so yeah. Let's see what Sid had. Ironclad just absolutely 100% playing for score. Yeah. Granary. Oh, okay, only double gran. Uh, that's not insane. But I, I think if I like did like a concentrated push against Ironclad, I could have killed him. Yeah. Oh, he, he's... Oh, looks like he pushed north a bit. Oh, and he was sending more bows. He was caught off guard by Saucy dying. Yeah, you you guys were winning on score. You don't need to do anything else. Like, um, I guess Typo could start playing for score in Egypt too. But I can't play for score, and you guys, you three guys, can as long as you stay alive. So you should recognize the ball is in your court, or the ball is in our court, and you should really just defend. Uh, but Saucy wasn't defending. Like Saucy would have died anyway, I guess. Uh, but at least they would have maybe been able to retake if their guys were in position. Wow, I guess he really committed hard into that uh, early attack. Yeah, uh, he must have, like... Yeah, his, his land is about as good as mine. At least he has the river. You're getting planes is a lot faster than mining grassland. Uh, but he only has one. Oh, no, he has two BG, unless he chopped on those. Yeah, he, he has better land than me. Um, I think I did give him the Golden Age, too. <laughs> He actually had two warriors there at some point, but he, he moved one away, I guess. <laughs> this is recently, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's just so easy to get into the trap of thinking they... Oh, they must have a million fucking units everywhere. Oh, I guess he was doing, like, one per two turn mounted warrior, One per turn mounted warriors in his cap, and then one per two turns other other places. This is a bit over-defended. Um, yeah, it's not like you can get boated here. It's impossible to get boated here. Basically, unless the, what are they going to do all the way up around here or like all the way? Whoop. Yeah, we'd see it a million turns in advance. Uh, and they've oh, I guess Ironclad. Sorry, if you get vision against Ironclad, but the more important thing would be establishing the road, in my opinion, so that you can like flex these units between these cities and you're not locked into just guarding this. Uh, and that way you'd be able to expand more. He did get a late golden age, so he is in a good he was in good shape, uh, but only on four cities. And here's me, uh, my economy falling apart, getting two kills. Good for me. Awesome. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'll link the, the multiplayer Discord in the description, the link to the ladder website if you want to play Ranked and you want to know what Ranked is about. I'll link to Saucyson's YouTube channel. Yeah, see you guys.